जय गुरुदेव आई एम सलील पुलेकर आई बिलोंग टू यू संगत चदुआ आई हैव बीन अ वॉलेंटियर विद द आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग फॉर मोर देन 23 थ्री ईयर्स एंड आई हैव बीन कंडक्टिंग वेरियस फॉर्मेट्स ऑफ वॉलेंटियर ट्रेनिंग्स फॉर द लास्ट मोर देन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स नाउ एंड फ्रॉम माई एक्सपीरियंस आई हैव अराइव एट टेन बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द वी टी पी द वॉलेंटियर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ द आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग फर्स्ट द थ्री सीज द फर्स्ट सी कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन नॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ सुपरफिशियल कम्युनिकेशन दैट वी नॉर्मली think about communication at its very fundamentals perception observation expression so having a broad perception out to in when i say ocean what do i perceive opportunity or threat picnic celebration joy life business it can be different for different people second a keen observation so perception is out to in per- observation is in to in from whatever i have perceived what are my thoughts what are the conducive ones what is a not so good thought which i should not act upon my emotions my feelings am i having an urge to say something nasty to someone should i catch myself now this observation is going to enhance my communication will make me say what i'm supposed to say and will prevent me from saying what i'm not supposed to third expression clear expression a clear expression comes from a clear state of mind a clear and rich expression yeah so that's the communication i'm talking about which is an amalgamation of perception observation and expression broad perception keen observation and rich and clear expression see number 2 second benefit conviction do i have a conviction in me that when i talk about something when i talk about my own ideas when i talk about a product which i have loved do i get a yes from the other side are people agreeing with me do i have that conviction that people don't doubt that doubts fall off from the listeners minds such a communication such a conviction is really absolutely essential in life if i want to progress in my own endeavors benefit number 2 conviction benefit number 3 the third c confidence confidence an intrinsic confidence that you throw me in any situation come what may that there is that strength that which makes me feel so unshakable that kind of a confidence even if it may be the first time for me in a particular situation even if it may be a very challenging situation a very adverse situation i might have never done this before but still there is something in me that doesn't take away the smile from my face that keeps me keeps me gives me the ground that i need that kind of a confidence benefit number 4 we come to the p's now people skills today the era is such that it demands working with teams working with people am i able to leverage the strengths and assets of people who i am working with am i able to accommodate their liabilities or weaknesses then i am a good team player then i am able to create synergy in my team such kind of a teamwork then together each achieves more team correct benefit number 5 persuasion when i am engaging in a conversation with someone or when i am proposing my ideas to someone it is not necessary that the person might immediately agree to what i am wanting to propose what i am wanting to say about my own concept but am i able to persuade am i able to take the whole team the whole set of people am i able to take the whole energy and channelize it in such a way as to what i want to happen then i am able to going to make more things happen than not then i won't be just watching things happen <laughs> i'll be able to make things happen i'll be able to get to that category of people who make things happen and who don't just watch others making things happen benefit number 6 personality churning i use the word churning not development personality churning what is personality churning there are so many qualities in me which i am not even aware of there is so much of latent potential which is totally untapped raw potential which is unharnessed if that energy those assets in me those talents those skills if i am able to channelize them if i am able to harness them and put it to good use 
I'll create wonders in my life. This is what my experience of volunteering has been ever since I started. I was not idea of so many qualities that were lying hidden in me. And that churning happened, that churning happened, that churning, you know, when the, uh, you know, when that curd is churned, the butter comes up, the butter, that's the creamy layer. So let that creamy layer in you manifest and project to the world outside. Wouldn't you want it? Right. Benefit number seven, work-life balance work-life balance now the volunteer training program to be honest it's not just a two plus one day on weekends you know the six days in between they teach you tremendous amount of time management home management spouse management office management boss management family management you know which is all what work-life balance is all about how can i be focused on my professional success along with doing a lot of contribution to society along with not disappointing my family members and giving them quality time and not compromising my health in the bargain work-life balance there you are point number eight what is my usefulness quotient what is my usefulness quotient it is my usefulness that increases my self-esteem you know like gurudev says yogi bano or upayogi bano Am I useful to the people around me? Am I contributing to the environment around me? Are people getting benefit? Are they getting value for, from my presence on this planet? What is my usefulness quotient? Everybody, every human being, it is innate nature. Everyone wants to be useful. Everyone wants to contribute. The volunteer training program gives me that platform to enhance my usefulness quotient. Point number nine, SQ, spirituality quotient. Also, Punya quotient. What is my Punya quotient? What is the what is my bank balance in my Punya account? Not just money, wealth, Ashta Lakshmi. Do I have all the eight wealths in my life? What is my Punya quotient? Am I lucky? Am I the type of person who I do just a little and my work happens? Or am I the type of person I have to keep doing, keep doing, I struggle, struggle, struggle and still I do not get the result. In what category am I? The spirituality quotient. And you know, ultimately it is your spiritual strength. It is something intrinsic which is going to be that asset which is going to bring out you from adverse situations in life. Isn't it? That strength, that internal strength. And point number 10. GPS, the Guru Protection System or the Grace Power Service. A faith which is so strong that even if doubts arise, it can digest them, it can allow them the time to fall off. You know, when a tent is built and the bamboos are dug in the ground, the person shakes the bamboos to check if they are firm enough and then again re adjust the soil, the mud. Till they become firm that is precisely what the vtp is it strengthens the faith it gives the nourishment the nurturing which is required for your faith to become so strong and makes you so solid that nothing seems impossible you know there is a higher power with you all the time just taking care of you which is like carrying you through the good and bad the 10 benefits of why one must do the volunteer training program of the art of living. Communication, conviction, confidence, people skills, persuasion skills, personality churning, work-life balance, usefulness quotient, spirituality quotient, punya balance. GPS, a strong faith, the ability to surrender to the divine and have that power with you, the Guru grace. Jai Gurudev, wish you all the best.